Hello everyone, this is Petra from CGIS Labs. In this tutorial, I will show you how to work with projection lines in the profile view. First, we will define a projection line in the layout and then display it in the profile view. After that, I will demonstrate the labeling options for projection lines in the profile view pen. So, let's get started. In the open drawing, we have drawn the alignment and profile. On the left side, we have the layout view and you can see that there are three 3D polylines in the drawing. In our case, these 3D polylines represent water pipelines and telecommunications cables, but they could also represent support walls, retaining walls or some other elements. What is also important here is that the polylines are on different sides of the alignment. The first polyline is on the right side, the second is on the left side and the third polyline crosses the alignment. If we want these 3D polylines to be inserted in the profile on the right, we must first define them as projection lines. We do this by clicking on the Layout tab and then running the Define Projection Lines command. Then we select the 3D polyline in the drawing and confirm by pressing Enter. Next, we define the name, in our case Water Pipeline, and press Enter. If we zoom in to the 3D polyline, you can see that the name of the projection line shows up in the drawing. Then we perform the same procedure for the remaining two 3D polylines in the drawing. However, we will not label these two lines separately, instead we will label them together and give them the same name. This can be done when we have a single polyline group. But we should be aware that both polylines will be displayed together in our profile and not just on one of them. We run the define projection lines command again, then we select other 3D polylines and press enter. After that we define the name and press enter again. Now that we have these uh, polylines defined as projection lines, we can insert them into the profile. So we click on the Profile tab and click the Draw Projection Lines command. For input data, we select the Layout Drawing from the drop-down menu and then select Current Drawing because the alignment and profile are in this current drawing we are working on. Then we check the box for the cables and select both from the drop-down menu. Alternatively, we could choose only the projection option because these lines do not intersect the alignment anyway. Then we check the box for the rubric option and press OK. Polylines are now inserted in the profile view. You can see that the name of the polyline is written next to it. However, because we have checked the rubric option, additional labels are also displayed in the first line below the table. Namely, the name of the intersection line, the station of the beginning and end, and the absolute and relative lengths are displayed. The relative length is written above the line and represents the length between the end and start station, while the absolute length is written below the line and represents the actual length of the 3D polyline. Now let's display the third polyline. We will run the draw projection lines command again and this time we will check the box for the water pipelines option. We will select the both option and then check the block name option. Next we will select the drawing with the point block and click open. After that we will also check the block for the rubric option and click ok. A third polyline has been uh, drawn in the profile view. If we zoom in, we can see that a point block is drawn at the location where the polyline and alignment intersect. Labels are also written below in the rubric. We can observe that the label splits into uh, two parts, as one part runs uh, to the right and the other to the left side of the alignment. The interesting thing about these labels is that they can change depending on the scale. So if we change the scale, the labels will either increase or decrease. In addition, we can also move the vents to a different position on the table. To do this, we need to run the Edit Current Table command. Uh, we click on Projection Lines in the list and use the arrows to move it up or down, and then confirm by pressing the OK button. 
Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you find this functionality useful in your work and leave a comment below if you have any questions. See you next time.